Yeah, so we're seeing in the world um, more, more uncertainty. Uh, we're seeing an increased level of complexity. And so when, we're noticing that it's putting a lot more pressure on leaders uh, to have the answers. And what we see is that they often don't. And so where we see coaching helping is the ability to empower others to answer things for themselves. So uh, in order for them to become more, um, think more critically for themselves, um, to be able to, to, to solve problems for themselves, that releases a lot of the pressure for, for leaders who can actually focus on what they need to do, which is, which is leading. So for our program, we really focus on the range, right? We're, we're looking at, if you imagine the metaphor of playing like all the keys on the keyboard, um, we understand that most leaders come into our leadership and they usually have functional expertise. They're usually very strong at mentoring, giving advice, very strong at problem solving and have these technical skills. But where they generally are lacking is their ability to ask open-ended questions and be coach-like with others, with their customers, uh, and with their employees. And so our program really contextualizes the core concepts of coaching, right? The International Coaching Federation concepts uh, into a organizational dimension. So, you know, we look at different scenarios around, imagine you're coaching a senior executive. Imagine you're leading a team. You know, how do you be coach-like or how do you act as a team coach when you're working with these different people? So ultimately, you're creating more multi-dimensional leaders that have the ability to flex their style um, to the situation. The students come into the program and they, are, they have a, a problem solving and advice giving mindset. It's almost like that's a default of telling, right? Or reassuring around what they did. And, and there's, so we don't make that wrong. You know, we say, okay, there's a place for mentoring, but there's also a place for coaching where you really have to self-manage your own stuff and really focus on how do you have the light bulbs go off with the other person? How do you develop their own from a neuroscience perspective? How do you make them self-sufficient? You know, it's teach a man or teach a woman to fish so that they can do it for themselves and they're not reliant on coming back to you every time asking for the answers. So the feedback we're hearing from, from students is first and foremost, they're able to hold a formal coaching conversation. So they're competent and they're confident in coaching executives, you know, emerging leaders, different people within their organization. Beyond that, they're also noticing that they're becoming more coach-like rather than saying, here's what I need from you. They're able to ask themselves, oh, how am I responsible for this? They're able to create safety so that they can give that feedback and say, this is in service of your development. And they're coming into these conversations with curiosity rather than judgment. 